Guide my feet, Lord, while I run this race. When we were children in Northeast Texas, we dreamed a lot. While I run this race. So for me to be able to come to the University of Texas and to be able to be a part of the School of Music, that's what my dream was. But the dream for Barbara Smith Conrad was never easy. As a member of the first integrated class at UT in 1957, she was a pioneer simply by her presence on the 40 acres. But after gaining a lead part in a school production, she created extreme backlash and national attention. In the end, politics ruled the day, and Barbara Smith Conrad was removed from the play, creating a critical decision for the 19-year-old. Leave UT or stay and fight. I had no choice. I either had to stand up and show people that I was capable or fall on my face. I didn't feel like doing that. When Hollywood actor Harry Belafonte heard she had been removed, he put forth a tempting invitation. Free education, anywhere, any price. When Belafonte offered me that opportunity to go to any school of my choice, I have to admit, I was, that was pretty heady. I wanted to go to Paris, but there was something in me that said, I'm not gonna get it like that. After graduating from UT in 1962, Barbara Smith Conrad went on to a storied career as singer and performer. And in 2012, more than half a century removed from discrimination at her alma mater, Barbara Smith Conrad was honored as fine arts commencement speaker. If you stand up and say what you really feel, a lot of people can't hear it. Sometimes you can't hear it for yourself. But I knew that unless I could forgive, there was no hope for the rest of us.